Hello, I am Robert and welcome to my channel where I discuss everything automated algorithmic trading or simply algo trading. We are looking at the live market and we can see exactly where the Euro USD is at this moment and what a crazy week it has been. Last week looked like it was going to be a correction but this week completely turned everything on its head as the market just took off and reached a higher high that hasn't been seen since December of last year. So this has been quite an interesting week and the volatility has been just insane. So as we look at today's candle where I've already highlighted it, we can see where the bulls are going to finish the week very strong. Yesterday, the bears had control of the market, but they didn't keep it long. The bulls have pretty much dominated the entire week. So I really think that this is going to continue well into next week, given the current rate, particularly given where the order book is at. Right now, there are three very strong levels of support within the order book. Strong enough that I think the bulls are going to pick up on Monday's session pretty much where they're leaving off today. Now, as you look at my positions that I have accumulated, you can see that the market has been very aggressive and quite favorable. It's certainly been something that I can't deny that I have been enjoying. But of course, whenever you deal with a market like this, you have to pay attention to the details. Those details clearly show that the market is very much in a very volatile state. Right now, I have 20% of my margin used. So I'm watching this very carefully and keeping track of it. I've also instituted several emergency safeguards into this particular trading approach that guarantees I stay within my margin limits no matter what happens. But that really is the details that I discussed in the last video regarding how to keep my account safe. So if you haven't watched that video, be sure to. For this video, I'm simply going to go over what we've been looking at over the last several months and what I think is going to happen as things continue. I don't believe this trend is going to continue for very long. I think we could see the 1.1 range, but realistically, I think the market is going to correct as there definitely seems to be signs of exhaustion and oversold issues within the market. So I think we can see a correction possibly the middle to late next week. But as we continue to look at the market and we really look at where the range has been, we can clearly see just how significant this whole process really is and just what it means overall for the entirety of the market. And that really is the point that we need to pay attention to. Where are we at? Now, as I just zoomed out, as we look at the left-hand side of the chart, we can see just exactly where the previous states were that we hit this particular range. I think we're going to stay in this general range for a while. And I think as we go towards the remainder of August, we're going to continue to see this kind of a trend. Particularly as more governments begin to release infl inflation reports and GDP reports, I definitely think you're going to see a correction within the market as a whole. But no matter what, always plan for the worst case scenario. This whole process 
hinges on that very approach. So that no matter what happens, if I run into my margin wall, this system will take a hard stop loss of my oldest position. It's going to hurt. It's meant to hurt. But it's better than losing the entirety of what I have in my account. So, stay vigilant, stay safe, and keep track of your trades. Right now, the market is definitely not a set it and forget it approach. Even if you use something like grid trading, don't be complacent because things are going to turn ugly if you are. Let me know what you think in the comments. Share your thoughts. How has your trading been doing? How has your trading been handling this incredible volatility? Please subscribe if you're not and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.